not only have we made progress, but there's great progress to come. And that progress will be accelerated. You know, the work in AI, the work of digitally connecting to citizens, uh, the advances in biology and the understanding there. So there's great promise uh, if we keep the faith helping out the poorest. Intersectionality is everything. When you think about those inequalities, you cannot have just one look. To make sure your policy is really addressing what is really affecting the ones that are most left behind. We need to be looking at changing the way we operate at the international level, how the financial system operates and how that relates to climate change in order to address some of the key blockages that exist. I think we need to find better ways of uh, having low carbon footprints of the energy sources that we use, of the way the products are developed, so that we have something to aspire to. It is our duty to not give in to resignation in the face of these challenges, but to look ahead with open eyes. For there are also solutions out there. If we cooperate globally, governments, think tanks, and civilian society, this is what this event is about. It is really another one of a very successful row of Global Solution Summits, so that people just leave the room and say, hey, this was a great session, and this is interesting, and maybe we could send a little spark uh, to the outside.